This is code.org, and I'm about to walk you through making this awesome, incredible app. Start! There's sounds you can't hear. I have headphones on. Oldest programming language, C++. Search from Python. Computer science at Java. And then, am I getting the win? Am I getting the win? I hope so. Play, uh, I'm a winner. Play again. More sound. Oh no, I lost. So on and so forth. It's similar to some of their examples. I'm going to walk you through step by step getting this code. If you don't have an app already started, that was done in an earlier lesson. And this current version of code.org, it's lesson four that we put together the design. It might have changed, but yeah, the design's all together for me. And I'm going to start walking you through how to make your own code time. This is code.org, and we are going to start now programming our app from lesson four. At least that's what it is right now. Sometimes they move them around, but we had designed this app, and here it is. And now we're going to go ahead and code it up. Their original example was this a bird quiz. Begin. Emu, you lose. Oh, that's sad. Um, regardless, this, and I based mine on that. And mine is a code quiz. I can hit run too, but it doesn't start because we have no code. So it's a little coding quiz game. All right, let's see what this is. Add the on event block listed in step five in your planning guide. Yep, planning guide somewhere down here is step five. And this really helps lay out what you need. So now that we know what an on event block is, let's go ahead and do so. I'm going to drop it here. Now I have a start button on my application. So I'm going to do that first, but let's see. Begin adding program on keep in mind requirements using at least three screens, including examples of images and audio, a clear and easy way to navigate the user interface, clearly communicate information about your topic. Code is clean, tidy, and free of errors. Okay, so this is my first screen and it is my start screen. And ooh, I have some buttons I didn't label. I'll have to figure that out. But I know this one is the start button. Boom. And what do I want to have happen on the start button? Well, I would like it to load question one. So when the user clicks the start button, I want to set the screen, which hopefully, yep. I want to set the screen, not to screen one, to question one. Perfect. User clicks start, screen one loads. Let's test. Boom. And success. All right. Now let's look at this. Which of these languages is the oldest? Well, I can tell you that would be C++, 1985. I think Java was 95. Uh, this might be Python 91, 92. Anyways, C++ is the oldest. So that means if they click on C++, I'm going to have it take them to the next screen. All right. So if they click on C++, they're headed to the next screen. So let's do on event. I'm going to go zoop. Okay, so now that they're on the next screen, whoops, not that screen, question one. Now that they're on this screen, you need to go ahead and add the win, right? So C++ button. So I'm going to go zoop and question one, CPP button on click. What am I going to do? I'm going to set the screen and they're going to move on. So set screen and now they'll move on to question two. Now for the wrong buttons, at first I'm going to do each button individually. It's a pretty straightforward way to do it. So there are other methods. We could put something over all of these, for instance. But let's just go ahead and do everything else on this page. Choop, 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 is going to be wrong. And so if it's any of these, question, yep, Python button, question one, not screen, Java button, question one, and this is what's nice about labeling things easily, JS, what am I going to do? Well, then I will set the screen to the lose screen. There we are. Those three will take you to the lose screen. This one will take you to the next question. And keep in mind, I have images here. So this is where I would want to cite my images, right? So for instance, my Python one, and it asks you to do this. Let me see. I'm going to uh, magic my way over here. There it is. So here's my Python one. Where's the stuff I get to say? Um, here's a great citation. The following page uses this file, user, blah, 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 blah. So, and that will link right to the user. And so I'll also put Wikimedia Commons, but I'm going to use this text. So 
control C to copy. I'm going to close that out. And then I'm going to say Wikimedia. And then I'm going to use control V to paste. I'll get rid of the date information. Upload by you users. Great. So just make sure you are citing your source, right? Here's the user. That's an easy way to access that. I won't go through all of these, but make sure you put in comments with your images, um, and this would go down here, that you're using where they are coming from. To clarify too, I'm going to put this is page or question one screen in a comment, which is slash slash. And then I'd put my photo image. Okay. And then, so that being said, I'll do slash slash question to screen. And now let's start on that. Since it will be exceedingly similar, I'm going to use copy control C and paste control V. And I'm going to change out the buttons. Now I know one of these is going to be switched out, but a lot of them I did the exact same tag and just changed it to Q2. So let's take a look at screen two. Okay. So for this one, uh, the most Google search, the answer would be Python. So instead of Python taking you to the lose screen, we're going to move down this set screen and I'm going to change it to the win screen. Okay. Everything else will take you, not the win screen, I meant question three. Everything else will take you to the lose screen, except what's this guy? That's VB. So we don't have, we lost C++ on this one. So where's my C++? It is right here. And we need to go ahead and change that to question two, VB button. All right, and that's easy enough. So let me once again go in and do question three screen, copy, because again, the similarities. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and paste it again for question four. All right, let's do show blocks. Let's take a look at question three. So question three, uh, this answer, which of these languages will we use in AP Computer Science A? That would be Java. So let's go, where did I have it? Yep, and this is why comments are great. This is where I'm going to start question three screen. So this will be the question four screen info. And then, and this is where I didn't label my buttons correctly. So I'll do VB. So that being said, the answer, like I said, was Java. Screen three. I'm going to change this from that to uh, question three. It's not going to take us to the lose screen. It will take us to question four because I made four questions because I'm an overachiever. The rest will take us to the lose screen, but we will need to update them to be on question three. So I labeled them as Q3. And this one is not Python anymore. I can get rid of this accreditation. I would need to replace that with the one for this image. C sharp. There we are. And lose screen, VB button, except this should be question three. Question four, lose screen. All right. And then screen four. Here we are. And then this one would be JavaScript. It's the language of the web. So JB will take us to not the lose screen and not question three, but the win screen, win screen. And then all these rest, right? This should be question four. So Q4 for all of these. There's a Python button, yes. Oh, there's no longer a Java button. Let's look for our Q4 stuff. So basic is great. And C++ for Q. And that's what's nice about having clear labels that makes your life, well, easier. Windscreen. Cool. And then let's go ahead and do, I'm going to comment, because I need for the win and the lose screens, the replay button or play again button. So I'm going to say win slash lose screens play again. Okay. And I'm going to get some white space here just so it's easier to read. All right, and then so now on event and on event, on event what? Well, on the event that the 
uh, when play again is clicked, what do I want to have happen? When on the event that the lose play again is clicked, what do I want to have happen? Set screen, set screen, what screen? Well, home screen. All right, that's a whole lot of on events. Let's go test this all out. Start. Oh, good. Uh, which language is the oldest? Well, let's get this one wrong. Python. You lose. Oh, no. Play again. Start. Which language is the oldest? C++. Ooh, it changed. Which of these languages was most searched for on Google in 2019? Python. Yeah. Which of these languages will you learn in AP Computer Science A, Java, along with HTML, CSS, and CSS, this language is considered core to the World Wide Web. What is it? JavaScript. That didn't work, so that's a problem. Let's see what's going on there. For, uh-oh, what's here? Okay. So screen four, on event that, Visual Basic, yeah, so this should, there's this label. I don't know why I clicked that one. Oh, these are two still. Whoops. Question four, 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 four. All right, let's do that again. We win! Play again. Quada! Boom. Code clearly written, clearly communicate information, clearly easy to navigate interface. So all I would do now is I'm going to go through and start adding the citations for my other images. Another way you might want to do a citation is you could link direct directly to the page, but make sure to ask your teacher what their expectations are for citations in programming. They can vary by teachers. They can vary by professors in college, but you do want to make sure to honor other people's work and contribution to yours. So I was just going to do with C sharp. I was going to demonstrate this. So I did have a professor just request direct links to the images or to the code that we were using. And so that's another way to make sure that people know um, where the stuff came from. But anyways, we have a super duper awesome map. Boom, boom. I should have read that. Of course, I got that wrong. Regardless, onward. So I'm now on the next portion of the lesson, or technically the next lesson. It's to make sure we have everything. So I'm just going to go through, use at least three screens, done, include examples of image, audio, and text. I'm about to demonstrate audio, clear and easy to navigate interface. Yeah, no broken buttons. You want to make sure people can get through it. Communicate information clearly. Definitely have that. Win and lose screens. Code is clearly written. Definitely. So all I need is audio, which is going to be fun. I'm in my code. I'm going to add audio three places. So let me grab play sound and I'm going to play it when they click the start button. Let me hit choose and it's going to be digital. You know, it's an app about coding. And so what should I play? Whistle up three tone. Oh, startup. They have a startup sound. So I'm going to choose that. And let me make sure that's working. I have headphones on, but I can promise it's working. <laughs> And then let's go down to win and lose. So it's a bit weird, but I'm just going to play the win and lose sound when they click on the home screen button or the home play again button. I'll have a celebratory sound if they won and a sad sound if they lost. So not when the page loads, but when they continue on to the next. So let me play a sound, choose that sound digital once again. They have a win, I saw, yep, win, which is perfect because this will be the win screen. And then my other sound. Play sound, choose, and digital. I think they also have a loop failure. Yes, what's this one? I think this was the good one. Yep, that's definitely mine, failure. And boom, boom, boom. And let me test. Yay. Sounds are working. Now let me get everything right. Oldest, C++. Search for on Google, Python, Computer Science A. Success. We have a beautiful, awesome app. So I've moved on to this final portion. And again, make sure you're using that the rubric and your planning guide. This is just making sure you go over that rubric. It's right here, your classmates response and that you have completed everything that you need. Once you're certain, double check the rubric, you can go ahead and hit submit. We did it! App made! Bum 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 bum!